Three, two, one! Quacky! I'm coming to get you! Where's Quacky? Look around! Is Quacky here? Huh? You're showing your big head! Huh? You're showing your tail! Huh? You're showing your big head! Where is Quacky hiding again? <laughs> I found you! This time I did not show anything! You're showing your shadow! A shadow? Where is it? Hello, shadow! <laughs> Aww! The shadow is gone! Quacky, don't worry! Hey! Look, a flashlight! With this flashlight, you can find your shadow again! Really? Let's go to the lab and try it out! Practice your hands and brain! Let's create together! To, to the, the laboratory. laboratory! Let's, Let's go. go! How is the shadow created? Let's set up the items first! A toy robot! A flashlight! Next, let's start the experiment! I don't see the robot's shadow! Turn on the flashlight to give it a try! Wow! A shadow has appeared! A shadow only appears when there is light! Then, try to move the robot left and right! Move it outside the beam of light! Huh? The robot's shadow has disappeared again! And then move it in front of the light! The shadow has reappeared! Got it! When the robot stands in front of the flashlight, the shadow will appear! You're right! Quacky blocks the light and then Quacky's shadow appears! As long as the light is blocked in front, there will be a shadow! However, some items do not have shadows. Quack! Who doesn't have a shadow? Let's give it a try! Put them in front of the light! Building block! Transparent glass piece! Toy ball! Did you notice? Which item doesn't have a shadow in the light? Correct answer! The transparent glass piece doesn't have a shadow. Transparent objects don't have shadows. Shadows appear only when light shines on opaque objects. Hey! Hey! Quacky is not transparent, so Quacky has a shadow! Huh? Why does the shadow move around? Kids, do you know why? Let's explore together! Which toys do you want to see the shadow of? Rubber ball! Robot! Building block! The shadows can be long and short for a while. As the flashlight moves, it changes the direction of the light. When the light changes, the shadow follows. It turns out that by moving the flashlight, you can make the shadows move around. That's right! When the light source moves, the shadow will change. Shadows are fun! Go play with your shadow friend! I am the big monster, and I will destroy this castle! Roar! 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 Duck! 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 I'm the super duck! Big monster, look at this! I'll be back! Super duck! Shadow puppets are so much fun! Kids, 
Do you want to know how to perform shadow puppets at home? Come with Quacky! Let's see what materials we need. Use rice paper and paper box to make the stage screen. Use card paper and bamboo stick to create the shadow figures. You can use a lamp as the light source. Add these tools and materials, and then you're ready. Let's make it together. <laughs> Cut out the bottom of the paper box. Be careful with your hands when you're cutting. on it. Stick the rice paper. Unfold the rice paper. You can use blank paper instead. Let Quacky decorate it. Our stage is ready. It's so dark. Turn on the lamp. Go make the shadow figure. Which figure do you want to play? Use scissors to cut out the figure. the bamboo stick to the paper cutout. Tape the bamboo stick in place. The shadow figure is finished. You can put on your favorite stickers. Which figure do you want to play? Use Sand Monk, Poppy, Monkey King, Bird, Tang Sang Sang, Pterosaur. Attach the bamboo stick to the paper cutout. Tape the bamboo stick in place. The shadow figure is finished. Drag the bamboo stick and act. button to make more figures. All we need is a paper box, rice paper, card paper, a bamboo stick, and a lamp. As well as these tools and materials. Then we can perform shadow puppets! Go make it with your mom and dad! Small picture book! Great big world! Read the picture book with Kiki and Quacky! The Shadow of the Earth On this day, Quacky and his good friend Puppy are watching the moon together. The round moon looks like a fried egg, like a pizza, like a watermelon. The puppy is drooling. Puppy tells Quacky 
Blackie that there is a legend that a heavenly dog particularly loves to eat the round moon. Quacky does not believe it. Since the moon is so high, the heavenly dog certainly cannot reach it. Quacky looks up at the moon and sees that a piece of the full moon is missing. The moon is getting smaller and smaller. Is there really a heavenly dog eating the moon? The puppy laughs and says that the moon is not being eaten. It is just hiding in the shadow of the earth. The earth is blocking the sunlight, forming a dark shadow. The moon revolves around the earth. When the moon revolves slowly into the shadow of the earth, we can't see it anymore. But soon, the moon will revolve outside the shadow and appear in front of our eyes. This amazing phenomenon is called a lunar eclipse. Quacky looks up and is overjoyed to see the moon slowly appearing. The moon really hasn't been eaten. That's great! Finish reading the picture book story. See you next time. Drag the flashlight and finish the shadow art. Woohoo! What a magnificent rocket! Put them all together and see whose shadow you can make. It's a big ostrich! Put a shadow wheel on the bike! Drag the flashlight and finish the shadow art! Beep beep! The car is moving! Put them all together and see whose shadow you can make! the kitten a suitable hat. Drag the flashlight and finish the shadow art. Wow! It's an elephant! Put them all together and see whose shadow you can make. This snail is so cute! Put a shadow balloon on the hot air balloon. Put them all together and see whose shadow you can make. What a cute bunny! Give the house a proper roof. Drag the flashlight and finish the shadow art. Woof, woof, it's a 